Hey, welcome back to Blar. Today we have some action figures from the X-Men 2000 movie. This is Jean Grey. So I got these in a loose box from a pretty cool toy store that's kind of near me. So didn't know she was missing like a, her ponytail, I guess, right here. So it's like a hole in the back red. So this is this is dead Jean Grey. But that's some cool accents. You got the blue here, X-Men logo there, X-Men logo there. So Pamky Jensen did a good job. I, I don't think she looks her best in this movie as Jean Grey, but here's what it is. Jean Grey's annoying anyway, so that's, there's that. Uh, this is really loose. I'm guessing it was, uh, I think these are all probably like action sets that did something with these odd movements and definitely odd stances. So she has no pegs. She can't stand up on her own due to like her weird heel boots so you'd have to like put her against something to get her to stand up so it's not the worst looking um, action figure you know for three bucks since there were a couple together that's why I grabbed them and I, I did like those movies they were, they were fun movies well X-Men and X-Men 2 were fun X-Men 3 not so much so there's Jean Grey they also had Cyclops played by James Marsden who has again, pegs so he can stand up on stands and he has these big large shoes on so he stands up really easy getting with the blue accent there uh, his x-men logo is kind of hard to see it's very small he had an action like button here that i would think probably turned on his his visor uh, you know this is really old and kind of beat down not in the worst shape <coughs> he did have a, a wolverine there uh, not complete like he had his, his head but his face was ripped off so I didn't bother getting that one so it was pretty good at least he stands some articulation in the elbow joints and he had Mystique which was a really cool character in the movie I always like Mystique in the comic books I like the comic book version a little bit better like with the white and her gun and stuff like that but the way they had her transform in the movie in 2000 was cool Played by Rebecca Ramon, who is now, the last I saw her was like on the Librarian series. So this should, this kind of looks like a cool action figure, but like when you look closer, it has this weird torso thing, looks odd. And it's kind of coming apart there. Uh, she has no elbow joints, has leg joints. She does have pegs for stands, which is nice. Uh, I like to give her yellow eyes. Red hair, it's all kind of subdued. So I think she will stand. Let's see. Maybe. Oops. Maybe not. So even that odd position, she does stand. So because she has some flatter feet, I guess those toes help disperse the, the weight. So that's nice. Not the worst looking figure, I guess. Standing back. The closer you get, the worse it gets. Uh, especially with this big line right here. Again, these are um, from like a loose uh, loose bin, so not in the greatest shape. But I thought they were kind of cool. So there's Mystique. And the last X-Men one that I got was Holly Berry Storm. So like I said, it looks fine. Like just laying there like that's okay. It looks okay. Uh, she has the silver accents. So it'll be in Storm as the X-Men on the belt. And then this cape. You see the stupid thing here? <laughs> like I said, I'm pretty sure they were like dumb play sets. So this is what she does. She, I don't know. She lifts it up. She brings down the Storm. It's really kind of dumb. Could have done without that. And her, when <laughs> you put her legs, you know she's not standing up. And there's, there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, definitely gonna need like a, a stand with a peg for her. I doubt I'll just put her against something. Uh, face sculpt. I don't know, doesn't really look like Holly Berry to me. It's not the greatest face sculpt. Uh, it's not an ugly face sculpt, it's just very kind of generic. Uh, the hair's okay. So the silver white looks pretty good. Uh, there's the braid in there. And kinda in there. And it's this weird arm pose. I guess 
It's kind of storm esque, right? Brings down the storm, lightning. No, okay, that makes sense. And I guess she would always be flying. Maybe that's why she they didn't care about her standing up. I don't know. So anyway, those are the X Men. 2000, 2003, I think they popped out one of those movies every year at the time. Action figures that I picked up. Um, if I look closer at this one, I may not have grabbed it. It's a snow ponytail and this weird like rope thing on it that I'm not going to take off. So, and like I said, the Wolverine was in such bad shape. It wasn't worth getting. The face was ripped off. And it, was just, it would just be like looking at this and with some claws. So... You get the idea. So not the worst, not the best for a movie tie-in. It's all right, decent size. So also in that bin, well, there was like a couple bins they dug through and got these out of them. I did find this character who I, I glanced at. I was like, oh, is that Jocasta from Marvel? Of course it's not because one, her face. So this is a cool sculpt. And she has this like blaster on her hand. So I think the guy that worked there said she's from a series called Destiny. So which I'm not familiar with. So I don't really know that. But that was really cool looking. So I grabbed it anyway. So again, it's three bucks. That was a cool looking figure. Got arm articulation here, the elbows, knee joints. And pretty cool face sculpt. And you expect like a generic kind of robot thing. Also reminds me a little bit of the. The boss fight, I think, in Virtual Fighter 5. So if you know this person's name, if you put it in the comments, or like where she is from, it would be good to know. Uh, I don't know if she'll stand easy or not. I think, yeah, just a little bit of snagging, she might stand up. I guess that's become like a, I don't know. That peeve of mine when they don't stand up easily is very annoying to me. Yep. Yep. Like I said, I have to do a bunch of counterbalancing with like arms and legs themselves. It's just too annoying. So, I think she will stand up so if you be on flatter. Uh, this, this thing has some give in it, so that could be also, the reason it's not going so easy. Yeah, I'm still going to take some some doing to get her stand up properly. Being, I don't know the name of this character. I just thought it was pretty cool. And I did have to grab U.S. Agent. So I always liked U.S. Agent. I thought he was a cool character. Kind of like a crazed out, raised up Captain America <laughs> at one point in time. And then course it became US agent so it didn't have a shield or anything like that of course US agents John Walker or well, this is I don't know if they changed that so I have a red anything current considering this guy in quite a while so he had a cool shield that was black and white and red I always thought he's cool he's bigger than Steve Rogers stronger due to the, uh, the power broker um, definitely had a more extreme sense of justice <laughs> when this stint in Captain America and also as US agent. So kind of right in the fine line between, um, well, I guess he just outright breaks the law, I think, half the time. But anyway, cool character. I always like this outfit. That was pretty cool looking. And for three bucks, it's in good shape, even without the shield. I was like, wow, I gotta grab this guy. So there you have the US agent, the unknown. I think it's what the Virtual 5 boss is actually called. And this movie, X Men. So, not a bad pickup. Kind of maybe minus that one. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.